Welcome, everyone, to your Assateague Island National Seashore Visitor's Guide for 2023. The entrance fees for 2023 on the Maryland side are as follows. Foot bicycle, no fee. Seven-day vehicle pass, $25. One-year vehicle pass, $45. Seven-day motorcycle pass, $20. And an individual pass if entering the park by taxi, etc., $15. The passes will also allow access to the Virginia side in Chincoteague and are the same fees, with the exception that a one day vehicle pass can be purchased there for $10. If you are aged 62 and older, a federal recreational lands pass, good for all national parks, can be purchased for $20 a year, or a lifetime pass for $80. If you are less than 62 years old, the America the Beautiful National Parks pass costs $80 and is valid for one year from date of purchase. Before we begin touring the park and discovering all of the cool things to do, I will mention that there is also the Assateague Island State Park that can be visited. But for the purposes of this video, we will focus on the Federal Park because it is much larger and offers a far wider range of activities to do. Before entering the park, You'll need to show the ranger your pass and a valid ID. After entering the park, you will find the North Beach on the left. From Memorial Day to Labor Day, this will be the only guarded beach on the island. And on the right, you will find a ranger station where you can obtain some additional information about the park. Assateague Island's famous wild ponies are protected and visitors should always remain at least 40 feet away. The first road you'll come to will be on the right, Bayside Drive. And here you will find canoe and bicycle rentals. And there are also plenty of campsites, both on the bay side, like here, and also on the ocean side. At the end of Bayside Drive is where you can find your rentals with Assateague Outfitters. But what's really cool here is some Bayside picnicking. Check out this scene. Also on Bayside Drive, you will find the life of the marsh trail with stunning views of Senapuxent Bay. The next road on the right is Old Ferry Landing, which also will lead out to fantastic views of the bay.
just past Old Landing Road is where you'll find the Life of the Forest Trail with another boardwalk traversing the marsh. Bicycling on Assateague Island is very popular in part because of its flat terrain and low speed limits. In addition, many sections have dedicated paths just like this one. At the end of the paved road is the South Beach, which remains unguarded all year long. It's a favorite spot for fishermen. But when swimming, please use caution. Also where the paved road ends is where the OSV beach begins. Oversand vehicles need to be four-wheel drive and also have some special equipment. The permit is $110 for the regular pass or $200 for the bullpen, allowing overnight beach camping. And here is the view at the South Beach. On a clear day like today, you can even see the southern skyline of Ocean City, Maryland, some 10 miles away. Thanks for joining us, and please enjoy and protect our national parks. <laughs>